Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Finally, I know <clears throat> been a while, <clears throat> and uh, I apologize for that. There's been a lot going on, so quite a few things have been done, changed around this farm. Um, I did a live stream here around midnight Monday morning, <clears throat> and um. I did some stuff around the farm here as you can see there's some changes so let's quick walk over these changes and then we'll get started on harvest um, so I was working on all the round bales I got tired of them the round bales were just irritating me so I deleted them all and I put in a hundred thousand dollars bought 120,000 or not thousand but 120 square bales of uh, hay and then because um, that is what I need to buy right whoops I probably should have checked yeah. hmm. I should have bought grass bales I am now realizing that well shit <laughs> um hmm Oh well, we'll have another cutting of, uh, why did that get so much lower? We'll have another cutting of hay to do here soon anyways, so. But anyway, so yeah, we switched to the square bales. Uh, put the commodity shed down again because the square bales will work with, um, square bales will work with the hay buster, so we got this again. And then I have a square bale fork and then the uh, grapple bucket over here. Um, I made the mistake of selling both of my grapple buckets right away, and then I realized, oh wait, I'm kind of going to need that to scoop up the ground hay and stuff, so, um, but yeah, I am going to have to, actually, I'm just going to get rid of those hay bales and swap them out for grass bales, I should have realized that, maybe I can edit, edit the XML and change them all to grass, I don't know, we'll see, um, and then over here I put down a grain bag. Oh, there goes my truck um, put down the grain bag system so this is another storage uh, setup that we have so uh, we'll use that for probably our corn and then made some equipment changes obviously to accommodate these square bales and some stuff like that so we got the rake back in here um, and then we got the hay buster. Uh, we have the Anderson DLC square bale trailer, and then we have a Massey Ferguson square baler. And then uh, so we got that set up. And then over in this shed, <clears throat> we have our uh, Alice our case and our international all backed in here uh, which we are once we get to corn harvest gonna have to pull all those out so we can get to uh, the sack and diac, uh auger because we're gonna need that to load the grain bag and then over here we have the uh, what is it again 886 with the farm king and the backhoe auger set up on our first bin and then we have the John Deere skid steer here ready to move the jump auger as well. Those are really all the changes that we've done. So, um, and like I said, I will uh, make that change of hay bales to grass bales. Yeah, I uh, figured today was good a day as any to bring the videos back, being my birthday. So I figured, well, whatever, my birthday, might as well bring the videos back today. Why not? So, figured we'd start them again today. <clears throat> um, so we're on day four of summer. Uh, we'll be able to knock out all of this uh, wheat in this day. Uh, I already got the combine over there and set up. And, uh, um, truck is over there as well. I just hadn't gotten the grain cart over there yet. So, 
We just gotta run this over there. And then we gotta set the combine up on horse play, get him going, and then we'll be uh, good to start rolling. <coughs> So yeah, I'm um, going to try and bring videos back and keep them back again. Um, now that I'm not working right now, I kind of have nothing better to do. <laughs> so, might as well, I guess. Along with streams, I am going to be streaming some more as well. Um, I am, I'm going to be, after this video is done being recorded I'm gonna be first off fixing my mess up my uh, complete fuck up of buying hay bales instead of grass bales when hay is what I needed because we we're gonna feed I was gonna my plan is to feed silage instead of uh, grass so um, yeah that's kind of uh, not working so far kind of fucked that one up so I'm going to fix that first and foremost, and then um, after that, <gasps> oh, and of course I have the fucking hiccups now, and then after that I'm going to be clearing out some shit in my mods folder, because I have a lot of shit in my mods folder, so um, I plan on kind of clearing that out. Okay, so let's just drive a little bit onto the field here so I can get my core clips on uh, the field edge path for 28. I'll call you back later. Field 28, first generation 28. Headlands, we want two. I'm just going to set this to eight and a half. Generate. That'll work. F25. Green head. And it's going to start at the first waypoint. That's the only lines. Okay, so let's get this guy set up here with this goofy-ass fucking corner. Alright, let's get you on your way. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell are you doing? dropping straw which is good so we're gonna let that guy do his thing and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the field here screenshot here. Up the fence here. So let's go ahead and jump in here once because I want to see what we are getting 
144.7 bushels an acre. That's not too bad. I mean, we could have probably been getting more. Probably should have done another round of fertilizer, but hopefully next season we'll be a little bit better off with the fertilizer and everything. Um, because, I mean, after harvest, we will be injecting some fertilizer directly. Um, so... There will be that aspect. And then we'll have to look and see too if uh, we can go ahead and get rid of our current corn planter to get this guy right here, the 1255 early riser. If I haven't already, I don't think I have one of these, do I? But this is the planter that I plan on getting. No, I do not have one. Um, and then I do want to also try and get, um, I think it's here in trailers. I think. I gotta find it. Yeah, like I have so many trailers in here that need to go. Oh, I have so many mods in general that just need to go. Like, I have three different versions of the Pace Setter Super B Wilson trailer. It's like, I don't need this many of this. Um, oh, auger wagons. That's where it's at. Um, I've got... Well, we do have the J&M seed tender, which we could get. I wouldn't mind that one. I have that, or I have... This, which goes on the back of the International S2600. It holds liquid and solid. So I could put seed in here, I could put solid fertilizer, and I could put um, herbicide or liquid fertilizer during planting season. Then I can put like herbicide and lime in it during the other times of the year. So. Probably, oh, we're half full. Probably not gonna have as much grain this year as I would like. Hopefully, like corn and beans and sunflowers yield pretty good, but we'll see. Um, I haven't decided what I want to put in the grain bag. If I want to put wheat, Do I want to put this wheat in there, or I'm probably not gonna put the wheat in there. I'll probably just stick to putting the wheat in the hopper bin that I'm set up on. Um, but the corn might go in there. Either the corn or probably soybeans. Because sunflowers I wouldn't want to put in a bag. Uh, because of how kind of, you know, with the points of the sunflowers and stuff, I wouldn't want to risk. In real life, at least, I wouldn't want to risk putting that in a grain bag. Um, so probably going to just stick to putting the corn in there. Which I'm going to start unloading it anyways here. But, um, yeah, probably gonna just put corn in there. That's probably what I'll stick to. Probably just throw the corn in there. But we got a little time until corn harvest yet, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a good amount of straw bales as well. I do still have to test and see if I can bale cornstalk bales and use them for straw for the cows. Uh, I have to look at that still. I'm at 100% if I'll be able to do that with the setup that I'm running, but we'll see. 
Um, I do have the Ford over here hooked onto the header trailer. Um, which, let's see, where can I pull this where it'll be out of the way? Because I need room to get in here with the truck as well, so... Because I just kind of pulled it over here, hooked it on, and went. So, here we go. I'm going to just spin it around, though. Nah, I can't go that way, though. Shit. Ah, I can just pull it off over here. That'll give me enough room to bring the truck in. guy off for now actually no we're gonna move him in here a little better get my camera fixed I need to fix the camera on this truck truck around so that way the tarp is on the ed field edge side. Okay, truck's set up, ready to go. Combine's at 28%, so he's still good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the grain cart to the top of the field. So that way, I'm going to load him on the go. Perfect. First he's gonna follow the same line. Just kinda dumb, but I don't know why it doesn't just do it a little bit differently. Yeah, you're not unloading into that trailer, nice try. So we'll wait for it to get to the top of the field and then turn be turned around to start going down again and then we'll probably start unloading it. Yeah, I, uh, I have so many mods that I don't even use anymore. I don't want. So I just went through. I selected them on a save game of one of the in-game maps. I think it was, I think it was the American one. Basically, just selected them all to be active. Oh, nice PTO is turning. That's kind of cool. I basically selected them all, went, you know, let the save game start, hit start, and then right away I just hit save, and then closed it, and just uh, opened up the save game uh, stuff in Notepad++, and uh, it shows the file name of every mod that's selected. So then I'm going through the mods folder. You know, I got Notepad++ opened up full screen, and then I got 
my window for my mods folder opened up beside it um, you know overlapping it where I can still see all the file names and whatnot and then uh, I'm gonna pull everything out there's a couple that I'm not sure which one I have active on here so like basically I'm going to just take all the mods that I'm taking out put them in a folder and then I'm going to um, try starting this save game and see if it says that anything's missing. If it does, then I know, I know that I need to put those few back in. And then plus I think there's I think there's one or two that are that I have selected that I'm gonna be pulling out because I wanna like change something on it or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I have to look. But just wanna get my mods folder cleaned up some get it thinned out a little bit down to only the stuff that I really actually use versus it just being a bunch of stuff you know that I don't even use anymore because I don't really need that and then uh, then I plan on setting up a save game on some map I haven't decided which one yet uh, specifically for streaming um, like I said, I don't know which map yet. I might do Medicine Creek or something. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided what map I want to do yet. I'm going to let him get turned around here. That's far enough back. There you go. He's only gonna have a couple more passes. And he's gonna be this field. So we'll see if we can't uh, fill this green cart at least most of the way, maybe. If not, fill it, fill it. We can go dump it on the truck. And Grandma, holy smokes, that almost fast. Okay, go play. Go play. Go lay down, dog. doubt it's going to be enough to fill, so what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to move this over here, because I'm going to go ahead and start on this build next. And then let's go jump in the combine once, we'll ride with him on his last two passes. It's only like 20s, 20s, 30s percent fertilizer, so we definitely need, should have done more fertilizer, and then I probably would have been a little better off on the yield here, but what can you do, I guess?
So we'll probably just get this field finished up because we got about five minutes left on the timer. So um, probably finish this up and then we'll call our video. It's kind of annoying that the uh, straw isn't like just a steady stream. Kind of rather annoying. But, I guess nothing to do about that. We're getting closer and closer to buying our pigs and cows. Once we are done with silage, we'll be uh, good to good to go. Good to buy them. I mean, if we don't have enough money right away, then we could either a sell off some of our grain or b uh, borrow a little bit of money to buy them and then just pay that money back when uh, once we get our grain sold this winter Why don't we just go like this? Forgot that I had that enabled. I need to disable it. Um, a different player camera, and I don't like it at all whatsoever. Not in the slightest. Kind of worked out perfect, actually. One full header left. And we're half full, so. <coughs> oh, it's good. See if we can't pick all of this up here. There we go. Perfect. Stop moving. All right, that is one field done. Now it's on to the next one. Definitely need to get more land and uh, some bigger fields so that way we can uh, produce more grain I mean I guess if I really really wanted to I could have combined these two but then it'd just be a headache horse blade probably acts stupid anyways the usual but that's okay We'll just run it as is. So before we end the video, we'll go ahead and get set up here on this next field. We'll probably have them starting right about here. Calculate the path. And why do I feel like I did this wrong on the last one? That's still 28. 
no point in that. That's a different sound. Um, what did I say that is? F25. Ah. Okay, let's load this course. Save it. F28 grain head. Because it's 28, not 25. Okay, we'll go back here. Generation 29. Reference to 8 and a half. Generate. This is F29 grain head. Get rid of that. Like this. Just wait. Um, and then I need to go here. Make a folder called grain head. Remove both of these to that. I said wait. Wait. Yeah, I'm done. And then we'll just back this guy up a little bit so that way it's a little more on to the waypoint. Drop the header. Alright, that is going to do it guys for this video. I know unrealistic is all hell with it sitting and feeling like that, but whatever. Um, thanks buddy. Okay, just wait. Go out. Shut the door. Now. Now. Listen. Alright, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not done so already to be notified every time I upload a video. Make sure to check out down below. I have my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching y'all, and as always, see y'all in the next